So for this video, we're going to find the difference quotient for the following example. So we're going to take f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 5, and we're going to plug it into the difference quotient, which looks like this. f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So this is kind of one of those problems that kind of looks like big and scary, but if we take this one step at a time and plug in, we're going to see that it's actually not that bad, or I'm hoping that that's what you're going to see about this problem here. So there's three different pieces to this problem here. So if you take a look, first we need to find f of x plus h, and then we're going to just subtract away f of x from it, which is just your function here, f of x, and then we're going to divide it by h. So the first piece, we need to find f of x plus h. Okay, so f of x plus h comes from f of x, and it comes from taking x plus h and plugging it in for x here. So f, plus, f of x plus h looks like this. So essentially, I'm going to take every x but instead of x, I'm plugging in x plus h. So that's going to look like x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h plus 5. So that's what f of x plus h looks like. So that's going to be the first part of my fraction. So it's going to look like x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h plus 5. The next part says, well, subtract f of x. So f of x is just our original function here that they gave us. So we're going to say minus, and because it's a minus, I'm going to put f of x in brackets here because we have to subtract the entire function away. So I'm going to just minus all of f of x, and f of x is x squared minus 3x plus 5. And then it says that we're going to divide this by h. Our next step is to do some cleanup here. So there's some multiplying going on. We have to square this first one here. We have to distribute this negative 3. And then we also have to distribute this minus here. So taking this one step, one step at a time. First, we have to square x plus h, right? x plus h squared is just x plus h times x plus h. So when we multiply this, again, um, there's a couple of different ways you can multiply it. You can foil it. You can use the formula for squaring a binomial. Um, you can just distribute it. Um, I like to use the formula and square it in my head. Um, but going through this real quickly using foil, x times x is x squared. O stands for the outside, so x times h, or h times x is h times x. The inside gives us another h times x, and L stands for last, that's h times h, which is h squared. Your two middle terms are your like terms that combine, so when we do that, we're left with x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. So that's this first piece here, so x squared plus 2hx plus h squared is what we get when we square that first piece. Now we're going to distribute this minus 3, and we need to distribute it to the x and also to the h. So that's a negative 3x minus 3h plus 5. And then back here at the end, we just need to distribute the negative to everything. So that's a minus x squared. A minus negative turns that into a positive 3x and then a minus 5. And we need to remember that this was all over h. Now we need to see what like terms can either cancel out or combine. So let's see, I have an x squared here, and I see I have an x squared here. This is a positive x squared, this is a negative x squared, so those actually cancel out to zero. Let's see, I have a 2hx, I don't think I have anything else like that, so that's going to stay. Here I have an h squared, I don't see anything else with an h squared, so that stays. I have a negative 3x, oh, and I see here I have a positive 3x, so those are going to cancel. I have a positive 5 and a negative 5 that are going to cancel. So it looks like the only thing left is the negative 3h, and that all goes over h. 
Um, continuing to do some cleanup here. Um, I noticed that everything in my numerator has an H in it. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out that H so that I can then cancel it out with this H down here. So if I get rid of an H from everything in the numerator, that's going to look like 2X plus H minus 3. So again, all I did was pull out an H from each one of these. All right, so if I take out this H, I'm left with 2X. If I take out one of these H's, I'm still left with 1. And if I get rid of this H here, all I'm left with is negative 3. And that's all over H. So that now when I factor that out, this H can cancel with this H, leaving me with 2X plus H minus 3 as my final answer. So that's what we get when we do the difference quotient with this particular function. That's all for this video.